Hello guys, uh, YouTube, Mr. Fox, everyone who is watching, basic training part two, modelling, dun dun dun, um, so picking up right where we left off, um, last part we learned some uh, cool um, navigation tutorial um, information, uh, for instance about all the different panels where everything is and also how to navigate um, our viewport. Remember holding down 1 to pan, 2 to zoom in and out, and 3 to orbit. Now remember we can go to our orthographic views by pressing this button here or we can middle click um, just like that. And these are navigated in the same way except you can't orbit. So you can hold down 1 to pan and 2 to zoom in and out but just no orbit because it's a 2D um, uh, orthographic view. As you can see, when we created, created our cube in the objects panel, a cube gets added and that lets us know that there is a cube there. And with every object or device, transformer, anything, um, there's going to be some settings. And we can see there's three tabs of settings which we can navigate by clicking on each header. And on this one there's even a drop down option to get, give us some more properties. We don't need to mess around with the settings right now. We're going to come jump straight back into our um, perspective view and start modeling. So let's start from scratch. Let's delete our object and let's create our basic cube again. Hit the C key to make it editable. And then we can start scaling it out. And the main tool, just like in Maya and most other 3D um, software, that you're going to be using is the extrude tool. So if we right click on our object, sorry, if we go into our faces mode by clicking this faces panel here, we can see we've got a few options. We got faces, sides, and vertices. And that puts us in different control modes. So at the moment we're in faces, so we can select a face, we can right click, and we're gonna choose this button here because we're going to want to use these a lot. We're going to like get rid of the text. We're going to go to icon size, set it to medium. And I actually want them to go across wise. So right click and press transpose and that puts it across as opposed to as opposed to going down. So, now that we're here, now that we've got some options, we can still find out which each tool does remember in our help menu. Right down here, we want to use the extrude tool, which is this one right here. Now that we press that, we, our arrow has changed, and we can drag out, and that gives us a whole new face, um, creating, I think that's five extra polygons. And you can start to appreciate the power of this. And let's if we go back to a cube. You can see when all faces are selected, it's going to extrude them all. And you can create a very interesting shape. If you do that, you can then do what's called smoothing. Um, using, I'll show you. Let's. Let's exit out of our tool, hit the E key to go back to our move tool. And if you choose this arrow with a triangle, that's going to go back to our object selection mode. Now with our objects selected, we can call it weird shape just by double clicking. We can go into our modifiers, hold down and choose hyperlapse. We, the way it works in Cinema 4D is that to apply a modifier to an object, we basically have to put it inside of it, a bit like a container. So we're going to put our shape into our modifier, and as you can see, we've created a pretty cool shape pretty quickly. Now we can change the settings. If we go into our hypernomes, we can see some of our basic, basic settings. For instance, the subdivision amount, if we increase that, it's going to be even smoother. And we can also go back to our weird shape mode. 
we go back into faces, you can see that it's going to give us faces um, that we had beforehand without messing with each individual polygon. Look at that. That looks like some kind of creature. Let's say I just wanted this face. Could pull that one out. Very quickly, I've created a squid. Except the back part is too big. So what can we do, guys? Remember our tools. We have our move, rotate, and we have our scale. So hit the T key for scale. And scale it down. Try and make it more similar size to the others. Very cool. Then let's um, delete our object. So select the hyper shade and hit the um, backspace button and that will delete the hyper um, the smoothener the hypernerve sorry and our object all objects that were contained within it. Um, as you can see what that did was that it created almost a nerve space object with our original polygon. If you don't know the difference Google it or watch my Maya modeling training. I'm gonna put this next to here. There we go, making the most of all this room. Now, get rid of that. Now, that was a basic introduction. What you want to do is go around and mess around with the different tools. Um, hit C to make it editable. And we've got quite a few tools here. For instance, we've got the knife. And what that allows us to do is basically to um, slice up objects. And so I can draw lines here. That's going to add a, a new side to the object. And each tool will have a very different effect. Bevel, we grab this face. You can see that that very quickly creates a bevel, which is perfect. It works just like the extrude tool, except it automatically makes the, the um, face you're working on smaller. So I hope this was a good introduction to just some of the ways you model inside of Cinema 4D. And next we're going to be covering materials. And we'll also go a bit more in depth with modeling in some respects. Um, and you're going to learn lots of new, even if it's something you're familiar with, the topic for instance, um, you will learn new stuff, I hope unless you're super good at Cinema 4D, in which case you shouldn't be watching this video because you're probably better than me. In fact, you most likely are better than me and I can pretty much guarantee it. So, thank you for watching. Um, play around with the extrude tool. Try to make a human shape, just a human outline, just using the extrude tool. It's very simple. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll give it a quick go. Just delete that object. Just create a cube. Make it editable. Go into faces. Let's grab our extrude tool. Zoom out. Now, what we want to do to um, create our division. So we can use our knife tool. We go into our knife tool that we were using earlier. So which is this one. Oh, 
here. And then go back into our faces mode. Go to our extrude tool. And we can even select both faces at the same time by holding down shift. Really push them down. Just like that. So very quickly we've created a human looking figure just using the extrude tool. So as you can see, very powerful tool. Um, learn all of these different features and then go on to the next part and we're going to be looking at, I believe it's materials or it could be animation.